So Victoria, big question. I know you're a great rower, but how are you with a basketball in your hand? Oh, I'm disastrous at basketball. How about you? Is it something we can add to the extensive list of sports you play? Sadly not. I just could never bang down the coordination of getting the basketball into the net. It's a failure every single time. And for many people with visual impairments, a fast-paced sport like basketball can be difficult to learn or even harder to play. Yes, but in this next story, AMI presenter Alex Smythe checks out a CNIB basketball camp in Edmonton for children and youth aged 8 to 15. The participants took part in a three-day camp where they learned valuable basketball skills from coaches led by Corey Strasberg, a CNIB client and ambassador. Get open, you gotta get open, gotta get open. I know there's a lot of these kids that I've seen, they don't get a lot of opportunities to play sports because a lot of people don't believe in them. And so I wanted to give them this opportunity so they could show people what they can do. Go, Munashe! Oh. You know, I went to basketball camps when I was younger and you know, all the other kids were just like picking it up and they were getting it. And I'm just like in the corner, just trying to figure out how to dribble. That was like brutal. So I had to work twice, three times as hard as everybody else to acquire the same skills. And now Corey moves confidently around the court. Karen Love is the executive director for CNIB Alberta and Northwest Territories. A lot of parents are struggle with the, the fear that when they go to a regular camp, they're not going to be included. So we decided this year, as we do every year, just to offer um, a camp specifically for vision impaired. We offer camps every year um, throughout Alberta. However, Corey was the one who approached us this year. Um, so we're so grateful that he decided to offer them a basketball camp. There we go. Nice work, Amy. Nice work. Just keep going, keep going. When I was, you know, in school and phys ed class, basketball camps, I didn't get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with coaches. One of the big initiatives that I wanted with this camp was I wanted one-on-one -on -one time with, with coaches. Kept that elbow tucked in. Yep. Perfect, you're doing great, man. Thank you. Kids at that age and they go back to school, what do they talk about? What did you do over the summer? Well, I went to a basketball camp and the kid, that's just going to blow the kids away when they can tell their, their sighted peers that they played basketball over the summer. Bend your legs and up. More often than not, as someone with low vision, you need to adapt to the world. And so, you know, people, people ask me like, oh, so are you gonna have, you know, basketballs with bells in them and things like that? And I was kind of like, well, we could if someone requests it, but for the most part, I don't want these kids to have that kind of a crutch. We've been trying to teach them according to just what we have available. So listening for ball bounces relying a lot on touch, learning how to pass, shoot, dribble, um, do layups. I'm Emily Thompson and I'm one of the coaches for the basketball camp at the CNIB. I adapted my, my coaching style to be much more instructive verbally. Did you, Eric, did you hear it hit the rim? Yeah. yeah. I'm being more descriptive, so I would take some of their hands and I'd say, so this part of your hand is where the ball should be hitting. And also, based on the sound of the ball hitting the ground, you can also tell when it's coming back up. What we're gonna do now, guys, is we're gonna, we're gonna play um, our blindfolded basketball game with our coaches. We wanna get the perspective that someone who has no vision has. We're gonna have uh, you guys be the guides for us. Hear the ball. Okay, balls in, balls, balls in. Emily's got the ball. Who's open? Open? I can hear it. Okay, follow the noise. Adam, Adam over here, straight in. That's not it. <laughs> I spoke with camp participants Minashi and Andy to find out what's their favorite part of camp. I think pretty much all of it, kind of. Um, it has been very really fun playing basketball and learning new techniques. It's uh, very fun to meet new people. Uh, some are new, some are new faces. Some are faces I've seen before. Um, learning new um, skills that I would not have learned in school. And then after just a couple hours, they were like, boom! They like they grew exponentially in their skill level. They were like, no way! Like I got a basket, and so that was just fun to exceed their own expectations. Straight. Let's see it. The biggest difference is confidence. I've noticed that um, the kids have become more confident in themselves. 
try it and then you do it and you fail or you feel like you can't do it, then you, at least you know, you know, but you gotta, get, you gotta get out there and you gotta try. And you'd be surprised at what you're able to do. Your potential is, is way greater than your mind is actually able to perceive. Okay, here you go. Yeah! Woo! Give me some of that. There you go. Atta kid. What a great time for all those kids. I wish I had one-on-one -on -one coaching. I'm sure it makes a difference. Oh, it makes a world of difference. And what about the coaches when they put the blindfolds on and the kids got to guide them around? I'm sure that was a highlight for all the participants, not to mention the fact it provided a valuable perspective for the coaches. Yes, and the coaches all happened to be Corey's friends who volunteered for the camp. It was his initiative that started the camp and the CNIB helped promote it. His hope is that the camp will grow and be available all over Alberta. That's amazing. He seems like a really good guy and excellent coach. He does. And we should also mention that the CNIB has many great programs and activities available across the country. To find out what's happening near you, check your local CNIB office.